In this short video, we are going to talk about surface tension. At an interface between different fluids, the top layer of molecules is in tension, and that creates a skin or a membrane. The strength of that membrane is called surface tension. Surface tension is the reason that small flies and a needle can stay on top of water without sinking down. Mathematically, sigma or surface tension is defined as force per unit length needed to separate the molecules on the surface of the fluids. Let's talk about an example. What is the heaviest needle that can stay on top of water without sinking? Let's calculate that. First step is to sketch the diagram of that. Okay, so this is the cross section of a circular needle that I have, and this is the center of that needle. All right, next, I'm gonna sketch water. So water, this needle is on top of water, and this is the water that I have over here. Now it's time to show all the forces that are acting on this. First one and the most obvious one is weights. And I wanna find the maximum weight, so I'm gonna call this W max. The other force that is acting on this is called F, and this F is a force as a result of surface tension. I'm gonna call that capital F. All right, so if this needle stays on top of the water, and that means that there is force equilibrium. In other words, if I write the summation of forces in y direction, that should be equal to zero because this is at equilibrium. And what are the directions? So this direction and this direction, this is gonna be x and this is gonna be y. All right, let's write down this. But before doing that, I'm gonna divide f into its components, x and y components. So this would be f sub x, and this would be f sub y, and this angle is theta. And similarly, on the other side, and this would be theta. And needless to say that fy is equal to f times cosine of theta. Perfect. We're going to write this. So, over here, W max has negative sign because it's downward, plus F sub Y. This should be equal to zero. Now, from this, I can tell that F sub Y is equal to W max. And F sub Y is F times cosine of theta. Okay, F is the force as a result of surface tension, and surface tension, or sigma, was force divided by length. So, force is sigma times L, and L is the length of the contact between water and the needle. Now, I'm going to put this right over here. It's going to be sigma L cosine of theta is equal to W max. Let's say that theta is very, very small. So if theta is very, very small, I can assume that cosine of theta is equal to 1. And this gives me that W max is equal to sigma times L. What is this L though? L here is the length of contact between water and the needle. Let me show you the aerial view of the needle. So if this is this is going to be exaggerated version of the needle that I have on top of the water, and I'm looking at it from above. So this is the needle on top of the water. We, L is the length of this needle. This is L. So if I ask you what is the length of contact between this needle and water, you're going to tell me that this side of the needle is going to be in contact with water, so that's 1L. This side of the needle is going to be in contact with water as well right? So there is another L on this side. So L, which is the length of contact, is going to be two L's. Why? Because there are two sides in contact with water. And W max is equal to two sigma L. Okay, so in order to be able to find the maximum weights of the needle that can be on top of water, you just need to take a look at your textbook and based on the temperature, find the value of sigma 
or surface tension and find the length of your needle and use this equation to find what is the heaviest needle that can stay on top of water.